Hi, I'm Lou Ann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado. I am here with Mike. He's one of our certified arborists, and he has some really important information that you need to know as you go to plant a tree. Mike. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about and looking at what's called the root flare of the tree, and that's basically uh, at the bottom of the trunk of the tree where it hopefully gets a little bit wider before it goes into the ground and transitions into the root system. So you go by your tree, you get it home, there's, there's a lot you have to do to the root ball to sort of uh, take away the roots and soil away from that root flare before you even put it in the ground. So this is a really great example of, of the root flare, a really good root flare. You can see where the trunk of the tree is, pretty consistent uh, caliper up, up here, but then it gets quite a bit wider here at the bottom. So that is the good that you just showed us, Mike. This is the bad and the ugly. Why do you not like it? <laughs> it is. Uh, so you'll hear it described as what, what looks like a telephone pole. You really don't see a natural flaring out, you know, widening here at the base of the tree. What we're going to do today is kind of really tear this root ball apart and remove as much as necessary. Sometimes we'll have to remove three or four, six inches to, uh, to expose that root flare. This is a nice little bit of a smaller tree, easy to pick up. You just want to give it a few taps. So on this root ball, I can, I can tell from experience, I know I'm going to have to remove quite a bit. You can almost see where the, the real the, you know, the real root system kind of starts down here. I'm going to start, you can kind of come in vertically or horizontally, whatever you're comfortable with, uh, but I'm going to really, this is a sharp pruning saw, I'm going to go until really I feel some good resistance. I'm definitely cutting through roots here, but again, it's kind of a necessary evil. So, kind of see a pretty good root here. So tells us we're getting getting pretty close. I'm seeing a little bit of a flare here, but I'm also seeing a nice good root here, so I'm not going to go any deeper than that. And again, we're probably removing a good 50% of the root ball. And this is a good angle here. This is this is all trunk here. This this tissue here is genetically designed to be above ground. So here it's pretty obvious. This is kind of a before and after type thing here. You can see it's really the same caliper all the way straight into the ground. That's bad. You can see how much we had to take off here. So we've exposed the root flare here, really happy with that. And now we're going to look at the actual, the rest of the root ball here. You can tell they're, they're kind of growing in the shape of the, the container that it was in. Uh, that's not good. Those roots will, roots will continue to grow in a circle. So what we're going to do is take our pruning saw again and really tear into this root ball. Nothing you're doing is hurting the tree? Nope. No, this is uh, another one of those necessary evils to uh, help out the tree. So listen to the expert. Take Mike's advice. Look for that root flare. Make sure that's right above ground level. Go with that, not this, and we will help you celebrate the survival of another wonderful tree. Come see us at Tagawa's. We are your garden store and so much more. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and find others like it on our Tagawa Gardens YouTube channel. Also, find us on Facebook and Instagram.